Thanks for joining us. Anoka Hennepin teachers have been working without a new contract for eight months now. And it's apparent they become frustrated by the lack of movement at the bargaining table. On Monday night, hundreds of teachers dressed in red descended on the school board meeting. CTN Steve Antis has more on the rally and the latest on negotiations. A crowd of 400 teachers and their supporters waited outside the halls of the Anoka Hennepin School Board's meeting for their turn to talk about 10 months of frustrated negotiations. Since the school board isn't at the bargaining table, the teachers decided to come to them. When we've had the school board directly involved in things like QCOMP, teacher evaluation, levy work, we've come to good, positive, timely solutions. 239! Sir! As of Monday, members of the Anoka Hennepin Education Minnesota Teachers Union had worked 239 days without a contract. The president of Education Minnesota, Denise Specht, came by to express her support. On behalf of the 70,000 members of Education Minnesota and labor across Minnesota, I want you to know that we are here to stand in solidarity for you. Together, the teachers waited well over an hour, and when the time finally came, they filled the gallery to standing room only as Union President Julie Blaha addressed the school board. It's time. Our contract is 239 days overdue. In bargaining, the teachers' union made budget assumptions based on the district's numbers. Then we double-checked to make sure your plans would work. They did. Yet the teachers argue that if they accept the current offer, they'd take one of the worst settlements in the state at a time when District 11 teachers have delivered above-average student achievement results. It's time for serious offers that make real progress toward a settlement. It's time to budget in a way that puts people before fund balances. It's time to recognize the significant progress we are making for our students. We are doing our part. It's time for you to do yours. District officials say reaching a settlement with teachers is a top priority and they hope it happens sooner than later. I know the board remains committed to reaching a settlement and in doing that to reach a settlement that uh, is fiscally responsible. Now both sides met in their third mediation session Thursday and we are told they actually made good progress, enough that teachers are suspending work to rule immediately and are no longer planning to discuss a possible strike vote next week. Another mediation session is planned over spring break. Stephen Karen, it's really significant change here in this uh, negotiation. All right. Well, let's hope both sides can come together sooner than later. Thank you, Steve. Thanks.